Because of the rising inflation and seeing the surprising new prices of everyday goods, there are 15 things I have stopped buying or doing, and you should too. I'm now saving more than $1,000 a month for sure. My focus is to save money and invest in appreciating assets so that my money can work for me. Number one, I stopped buying protein shakes. Instead, I'm eating hard boiled eggs and chicken right after my workout. It feels awesome. Now I can feel my mood is improved and I always feel light. Number two, I stopped eating out four times a week at fancy restaurants. Now I only eat out on a Friday. On the other days, I bring my lunch from home. I'm eating more of a salad, lean meat and fruits and I'm feeling stronger than ever before. Number three, I stopped spending money on Friday nights. I noticed that I remained hungover on Saturday mornings and it really just wasted my whole weekend. Instead, I watch movies at home and work for this channel. This habit alone is saving me $300 a month. Number four, I stopped buying my subscriptions for Netflix, Disney and Stan and instead, I'm only subscribed to Amazon Prime. It only costs me about $8 a month and it saves me from going out to the cinemas as well. And Amazon has a really great collection of movies and TV shows. Number five, I buy non-urgent stuff from Amazon or eBay, which more often than not costs me less than the traditional retail stores. Whenever I feel the urge to buy things, I now ask myself, is it necessary? If not, is it necessary next week? If not, I'll order it online. It's that simple. You can get some really, really good deals online. Number six. Recently, I bought another investment property and I'm buying the furniture for it secondhand. By doing this, I realized the other day that I've saved myself two and a half thousand dollars. Number seven. I would never buy a brand new car and pay expensive insurance for it. Rather, I would save my money and buy a secondhand, good quality and reliable car and invest my money in appreciating assets. My current car now is a secondhand Audi and I'm having an amazing experience driving around in it. Very soon, I'm gonna be looking towards upgrading to a secondhand RAV4. Number eight, I don't stay at expensive hotels for my staycations. I would rather spend the night at an Airbnb or a countryside motel and I'll bring my own food wherever I can when I'm traveling. Number nine, I've stopped buying expensive wines for people as it doesn't really help them. Rather, I buy books, journals, or give cards to them. It's a win-win. Number 10, I've stopped buying expensive toys for my nephews. Rather, I buy secondhand toys from the marketplace. He plays with it a few times, and then he's onto something new. Number 11, I've stopped buying expensive jewelry. I ended up realizing that I just locked them in my safe for months on months on end, and they don't give me any value. Instead, I wear imitation gold and that works for me well. Can you guess how much I've saved because of it? Let me know in the comment section how much you think I've saved. Number 12. I don't buy expensive mobile plans. Since last year, I'm using a prepaid service. My old phone plan used to cost me $80 a month and now I'm only paying $15 a month for my prepaid mobile service. You can pretty much get a Wi-Fi connection everywhere you go now, so there's really no point in paying for 40 gigs worth of data when you don't use it. Number 13, I don't buy clothes in bulk. I only buy two top quality clothes and interchange them with the existing ones. I've really been enjoying watching the quality of my wardrobe grow and at the same time, spending less money. Number 14, I'm not paying expensive electricity bills anymore. Instead, I've installed a solar panel on my roof, which is now saving me $100 on my electricity bill a month. After about three years, I will have gained the solar installation costs and I'll be in a profitable position. Number 15, I don't buy paperback books anymore. Rather, I've bought a Kindle and now I download the books that I want to read. Then I just return the books in the Kindle library and download more from millions of the collections that they have. If you feel the need to buy paperback books, that's fine. I just think the Kindle's a really cool, cheaper alternative. So we've reached the 15 points. Did you find any ideas helpful? Let me know. Hey, in case you don't know me, I'm Cass. We produce helpful content every week. If you've liked this video, please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. Also, you can check out our other playlists in the channel. 
don't forget to watch the stock market investing video. Very soon, I'm going to be showing you how I saved money on a low income and bought my first home. Until then, take care.